Warning. Use of rebuildable atomizers can be dangerous. No one involved with the making of this video will be held liable for any damages that may occur during the use of any build. Please understand the limit of your battery, device, and atomizer. Stay within the limits and leave yourself a safety margin. Building too low may harm some devices, atomizers, or batteries. Attempt at your own risk. Hey guys, this is Nitro Bex. We're going to take a look today at the Goblin Mini and the accessory pack for it. Alright, so over here we have the Goblin Mini. Over here we have the accessory pack. The accessory pack contains two colored glass tubes. The smaller one is your drip tip, the larger one is your tank. We'll be installing this in just a moment. As far as the Goblin Mini, it comes with a glass drip tip that is clear, and you can see the difference in coloring between the two, between the black and the clear. The clear literally is transparent. Okay. Now, to start disassembling the tank, simply with an empty tank, unthread it, and it will come apart. You have your top section, you have your center clear tank, and let's give a side-by-side -side comparison on that again. Smoke versus clear. We'll get that out of the way. You can further take off this chimney, but I find no reason to. However, one key thing is make sure you do not lose that O-ring there. Drip tip simply fits in snug. The deck is where everything starts looking a little different. You have two coils here. Um, they are fairly small coils. You do have to build them to yourself. You have a split center post as well as negative posts. You have four juice channels and two air flows that come from the bottom side. Now, when we flip the build deck over, you do have an adjustable 510. You have your tank fill port, which is right here. Uh, comes out with a flathead screwdriver. And you have your airflow control. This slides back and forth to either open or close the airflow to it. Now, if you do choose to run this in single coil mode, it simply pulls off, and there's a separate one that comes in the Goblin pack that you can put on that will close off one of the air holes completely. To install your airflow control, it simply press fits on and is held on by an O-ring. Alright, so that is the deck of the Goblin. Let's uh, wick it in, let's get ready to juice it. Okay, I've simply pulled wicks through the coil. Now, one thing you do have to be careful with on the Goblin Mini is to make sure you do not over wick it. So, the wicks I have on it right now are too large. What I'm going to do is take my scissors and cut around the outside base. These wicks are going to look extremely short, but you don't want to choke off the juice flow ports. Now we're going to take whatever juice we're going to use and we're going to put just a dab of liquid on the wicks to get a little wet. Like so. Glass drip tip goes in, tank section sets up in that o-ring. We're going to take our tweezers or screwdriver and we're going to guide our cotton towards that hole. If you have to pull on it a little bit, that's okay. You want it to set in the juice flow wells. Like so. Wetting the cotton definitely helps it set there. 
you don't want it severely overhanging those and if if the entire wick doesn't set inside the well that's okay because when you put this on and you screw it down it will make everything go inside the wells so fully assembled there's the tank with the smoke body give it a little snug up just make sure it's nice and tight make sure we don't have anything sticking out from it which we don't you're going to take a flathead screwdriver and open up the fill port on the bottom of the tank okay now simply fill liquid into the tank remove the bottle replace the screw Tighten it down again with a flathead. You're ready to vape. We're going to go ahead and put it on the mod. Now I do like to prime my coils on these just a little bit, so I give just a little bit of juice through the dip drip tip. Make sure those coils are nice and saturated. Give a quick puff down on it. Make sure there's nothing in the drip tip and you're good to bake. All right, so the fit in finish on the tank is extremely nice. The glass drip tips allows for a very clean flavor. Um, you don't get any metal taste, it doesn't feel plasticky, it's awesome to have a glass grip tip. Um, the accessory pack, being able to change the color of your tank to better match your mod is an awesome ability on this for a very stylish vape. The small chamber allows for very, very rich, pure flavor with the underside airflow that's adjustable that just amplifies it. The simplicity of simply taking off the tank and removing the fill port to access your fill is very nice as well as being able to fit the needle tip drip tips in there that many flavors come with now. Extremely convenient. Definitely like this little thing.